Man, good people of the world, good people of the world, good people of the world, man, my people, man, my people, man, Real Mio TV, man, we back with another one, man, we back with another one. Young people, stay out of trouble. It is not worth it, man. If you've been to prison, if you've been to jail, man, do not go back. You understand what I'm saying? If you've never been to jail, if you've never been to prison, man, don't go. It ain't no place to be, man. Don't waste your life, man. Go to college, man. Get you some degrees, man. Hey, look, man, get you some trades, man, up under your belt, man. But whatever you do, man, don't waste your life away, man, getting locked up, man, in these people's system, man, because they'll lose you too, right? But look, we all got a responsibility to pour into our youth, man. You know what I'm saying? And to keep our people, to keep our youth from... Um, offending and going into these folks' prison and stuff, right? Hey, look, I'm going to tell y'all about one. I, I told this one on Facebook before, right? But I got to move this one over here to uh, to YouTube. And I got to tell y'all about Pop. Tell y'all about Pop, man. Shout out to my partner, man, George Geo Oliver. Uh, he's the founder of Jump Forward, our, our uh, non-profit. And I'm the co-founder, man. Shout out to Geo, man. So listen, man. I was locked up around about 1991, right? About 91, man. I was about 18, 19, about 18, 19 years old, right? Dang, I'm telling my age, ain't I? So anyway, man, I was locked up in the county jail, right? So, man, we used to be buck wild back then, man. And so it was like me, my cousin, Melando, you know, just a bunch of other people, man. You know, you meet people in jail and this and that and the other. Um, and we used to gamble all the time. Y'all know I don't do none of that stuff no more, man. I am a real preacher, man. I am a real preacher. I served 16 years of my life incarcerated. Young people, you don't want to go through this, man. You know what I'm saying? Share this video with somebody. Share this video with somebody. If you're a parent, share this video, you know what I'm saying, with your, with your uh, teenage boys, man. Even teenage girls, if you figure... They might need to hear this. You understand what I'm saying? Or young adults. So listen, man, I'm locked up in the county jail by 1991, right? And uh, man, we used to gamble. We used to play poker. Man, we used to love that poker, man. We'd be sitting at the poker table and everybody get their, um, you know, you get your, what you gamble with is your Zoom Zooms and your Wham Whams, right? That's your, you know, your food, your honey buns, your your, your uh, potato chips, man. You know, in the South, we say tater chips, you know. So you got your honey buns and your tater chips and you got your, um, you know, you got your, you, you know, your, your moon pies and your, all that type of stuff right there. So what you do is when you're gambling, though, in the joint, what you do is you get, like, little chips. People will take, like, some a deck of cards and you mark them a certain kind of way and you make thousands of these little chips, right? And you might um, take them up. Uh, and everybody got, you know, game chips. It's like when you go to a casino. When you go to a casino, then, you know, what you do, you take your cash and you exchange it and they give you game chips. Well, in prison, that's what you get. You get, you're going to play with game chips. Sometimes, every now and then, you will bet item for item and people will put just item for item on the table and stuff like that. But nine times out of ten, man, especially when you're playing something like poker, where it's going to be a lot of money involved, then you get game chips. So everybody get a stack of chips. You know what I'm saying? You get chips and you start the game, man, and it might be about, you know, about six, seven, maybe even eight people around the poker table at a time. You got some people that got next. You know, some people call next. You know, it'd be a good game. They'd be waiting for a seat because once somebody lose, lose all their chips and they don't have no more uh, items to put in the kitty, in the pot, then they got to get on up, right? They got to get up, and the next man to come on, sit on down, whatever. So anyway, man, we used to gamble. And it was this guy in our dorm named Pops. Well, we used to call him Pops, right? Pops. Pops was not a little dude, but Pops was old, man. In 91 or 92, whenever that was, about 91, 92, Pops was the same age as my grandmama, right? I seen Pop ID one day. One day Pop was um 
you know, doing something or another, you know, you have your ID and you clip it on your shirt or something like that. And I messed around and I saw Pop ID. And so when I saw his ID, you know what I'm saying? I see Pop ID. I ain't going to pull my ID card out. But you know what I'm saying? Like you see the ID. Then I, I said, Pop. I said, look, man. I said, Pop, man, you born the same year my grandmama, man. I said, dang. I said, Pop, man, you old, man. You know, so Pop, you know, he thought that was kind of funny, you know, and whatnot and everything, man. But the thing about Pop was, Pop. <laughs> Hey, man, y'all share this video, too. Pop was something else, right? Pop had these big old hands, man. Pop had some big old hands. I'm talking about Pop fingers, man. Was I'm talking about, man, man, my little bit old fingers, man, can't compare nowhere near close to Pop. Pop had some clubs, man. Pop had some fingers, man, so big old around, so big around, man. I'm talking about his fingers look like hot dogs, man. I'm talking about Pop had some big old hands, man. And when Pop balled his fist up, man, that man fist was so big and wide because he had them big old fingers and stuff, man. Big, big, fat, wide fingers, right? And so Pop used to always tell us that he used to box, you know. And so Pop would be, you know, he'll be um walking around the dormitory and he'd be, you know, doing his tough guy thing and he'd be shadow boxing and stuff like that. You know, and we'd be like, man, look at Pop over there. I mean, man, who Pop think he finna beat, man? Pop ain't finna whoop nobody, man. But so he used to tell us, though. So he will be like, yeah, I used to box back in my day, you know, and this and this and this. Yeah, I was a pretty good boxer, you know, and I used to go to the gym. I used to go, uh, you know, to the boxing gym, you know. And this, and this how you hit the punching bag, and, you know, you and Pop would be trying to do, you know what I'm saying? But we used to be looking at Pop, because when you looking at somebody and they that old, you know what I'm saying, you just... I just couldn't see it. You know what I'm saying? So then the thing about Pop is Pop used to move so slow. Like I said, now Pop was old, man. You know what I'm saying? Pop, count from 1913 to 1991 or 92. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I'll do the math for you real quick. I'll do the math for you real quick. So I'm going to tell you about how old Pop was. I'm going to do the math for you real quick. I'm going to do the math for you real quick. How old is I'm going to just say 91, 1991 minus 1913 equals, man, Pop was 78 years old, man, Pop was old, you know what I'm saying, so look, Pop wasn't no little dude, though, in stature, he was not a little dude, Pop was probably about 6'2", maybe about 220, 230, you know what I'm saying, he wasn't you know what I'm saying? Like, you think he wasn't frail, but Pop, like, he had some old injuries and stuff. So when he used to even get up, like, if Pop came and sat down in this chair right here, and he sit right here for, you know, a, a hot little minute, man. You know, it ain't got to be long. When Pop get up, this is what Pop used to do. Pop, he'll be like, mm, mm. and then he'll get up, and he'll be like this, and he'll stand there for a minute and try to, you know, he get warmed up. Papa get warmed up before he take off walking. You know, he, he'll stand there a minute and, you know, loosen up his hip or whatever it was that was hurting him like that, back or knees or whatever. Papa stand there, you know, and he'll, he'll kind of wiggle it off and shake it off a little bit, and then he'll take off walking, right? But nonetheless, Pop used to always tell us about the power he had in his punch, about his boxing, you know what I'm saying, Right? So he told us from day one, you know, he always talked about the boxing. He always going around the dorm. He doing his shadow boxing. And when he do his little work, Pop, Pop used to work out, like walk around the dorm. He wasn't doing like push-ups and stuff like that, really. You know what I'm saying? But Pop would do his walking around. And then sometimes he'd jog around the little thing. And he'd be doing his shadow boxing and stuff. He'd be shadow boxing over there, you know, sometimes for a good little bit. You know, maybe 30, 45 minutes or something. Be over there shadow boss and get him a good sweat. So now, but here's the other thing about Pop. Man, Pop had the most foul mouth in the whole dormitory. Boy, Pop had a foul mouth. I'm talking about every two words that came out of Pop mouth was you blankety blank this and them MF this and you son of a what 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 and blah blah blah. 
Y'all know I don't cuss, man. I don't cuss. You know what I'm saying? I used to. I used to do all this. You know what I'm saying? But I don't cuss. You know what I'm saying? So, pop every two words is a cuss word. You're going to be a blank, 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 blank. You're going to be a this, 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 this. You know what I'm saying? And so, you kind of take it, you know, with humor most of the time. But at the same time, boy, pop. Boy, pop talk bad, boy. So, one day we sitting at the gambling table. And man, pop sitting. If I'm I'm sitting right here, you know what I'm saying? Pop sitting right here, but facing that way. He's sitting on the end of the table. He's facing that way. Somebody else, the dude Rick, Rick was sitting right here on the side of me right here, right? Then there's other people around the table and other people on the other side of the table over there. And then, you know, you got a few people standing around. Sometimes that's what you get in prison. People standing around, watch the gambling game, right? Well, the big loser on this particular day, this particular night, day, uh, was the dude named Rick, who was sitting right beside me right here. Man, Rick couldn't buy a hand. He couldn't win a pot for nothing. So he losing all his money. So Rick then ran back upstairs to his room, man, about four, five, six times. He come back down. He put some more chips and honey buns and cakes and pies and stuff in the pot. Give him some more chips. Not long after that, he lose them chips. Well, while this is going on, Pop is just being Pop. Pop calling everybody around the table. Oh, you stupid mother blip, 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 blip. And blank, 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 blank. A mother blip, 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 blip. So Pop doing what Pop do. So finally... Rick done about had all he could take. Rick, Rick like 30 years old. Rick, he, from a from, from the looks of things, you know, he's in pretty good shape. He ain't no little frail dude or nothing like that. He looked like he posed to punish Pop if that's what he's trying to do, right? Matter of fact, he looked like he ain't even got no business trying to fight Pop. You know what I'm saying? So look, though, Pop, is steady laughing at the man because he's losing all his money. Rick losing all his money. You know what I'm saying? So Pop's sitting at the end of the table over here, and Pop just like, blah, 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 blah. So um, finally, Rick say, all right, Pop, I ain't finna be too many more of them mother blankers. Y'all know what I'm saying? He said, I ain't finna be too more of them, them mother, no, no, Pop, I ain't, I ain't finna be too more, many more of them mother blankers. Right? So, Pop say, you'll be a mother blanker if I call you one. 